Let us bring our prayers of thanks and our concerns before God. In Isaiah 43, God says this, I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through deep waters, I will be with you. Your troubles will not overwhelm you. Lord Jesus, we remember that many who claimed you as king on Palm Sunday shouted, crucify on Good Friday. So confirm our faith today that our love for you will never falter or turn to hatred, but will remain constant now and forever. We offer our worship to you, Lord, with all our love. Amen. We pray to you, Lord of palm branches and the cross, for you understand us and know our needs and concerns. We pray for your church, that all those who trust in Jesus will be made able by your spirit to follow his humility, to see and imitate his servant life, to welcome and not to condemn. Help your church to be like Jesus. We pray to you, Lord of palm branches and the cross, for you know both the warm glow of being praised and the loneliness of being hated. We pray for world leaders, quick to stand in the limelight, taking decisions which affect everyone in the world, but slow at times to do the steady, less glamorous work to which they are called. We pray for world leaders to understand their role to serve the peoples of the world, that they will speak the truth, that posturing will be replaced by practical action to make a difference, and jockeying for position be replaced by genuine efforts to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked, and to provide appropriate and timely health care for the many in this country and around the world with serious health problems. In days when food banks are required in our country to feed families who struggle to provide the basics for life, and when food banks themselves are struggling to receive donations and to deliver food to those in need, we ask that the new distribution systems will deliver food to those with greatest need. We pray to you, Lord of palm branches and the cross, because you know how quickly life changes to death. We pray for those who have recently lost those whom they have loved in the shock, confusion, pain and sorrow, especially of unexpected loss. We pray for hearts to be open to the comfort of your spirit, shown through friendship and community. We remember those we know who mourn at this time and who, because of isolation, cannot receive direct comfort from family and friends. We ask, God of grace, that you will make us more like some of the crowd, that we will follow Jesus and give him our praise in the way we live, that we will turn away from wrong and evil and stand on the Master's side, that we will be faithful in worshipping the one who has come in the Lord's name, through our worship, our prayers and reading your word in giving our skills, time and means through all the days of our lives, through Jesus, who is the Saviour of all. Amen. Heavenly Father, we bring before you now all those we know who are alone, those who are fearful, those whose income has disappeared. Help them to remember that you are with them always, whatever their circumstances. We pray, Lord Jesus, that they would put their trust in you. Help them to feel you very close to them as friend, comforter and saviour. Help us to be active and not passive in supporting them with friendship, comfort and, where possible, practical help. Thank you, Lord, for all those people in our community who are shopping for those unable to leave their homes for telephone calls, texts and email messages to keep in touch. Heavenly Father, at this time when people are unable to meet and socialise as normal and many have to stay at home in isolation, we thank you that we are able to maintain contact with others through speech on the phone, 
in writing by text message, email or post, and even to see friends and family through video links. We are reminded how important it is to keep in regular contact with others, and of the importance of keeping in regular contact with you through prayer. Thank you for prayer that we can speak to you at any time, knowing that you hear us and that prayer is without limit, requiring no connection, no subscription and no app. Help us in our, time, in our times of prayer to make time to listen as well as to speak, to be sensitive to what you may be saying to us. Heavenly Father, help us not to chafe at the necessary restrictions of our physical freedom, but rather to dwell on the immensity of the many freedoms that you have given us through the life, death and resurrection of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. We pray too for those families who are not able to be together, separated by a few streets, a different town, or by thousands of miles in another country. Help all of us to put our trust in you, the same yesterday, today and forever. Amen. In May we would have celebrated Christian Aid Week throughout the country, raising thousands of pounds to support the projects working with the most vulnerable and poor people in our world. As we thank and praise God for our wonderful NHS, let us also remember the people in those nations who have almost non-existent healthcare systems and no one to help them face this terrible virus. A prayer for the NHS. Lord Jesus, who healed the sick and gave them new life, be with our NHS and healthcare staff at this time. Bless our doctors, nurses, care workers and support staff as they prepare for the influx of many new patients. Give them courage to face the many new challenges, confidence in the skills they have to bring healing and wholeness, and comfort when their skills aren't always enough to save every life. And when their shift is done and they return home, we ask that you support and sustain them in their worry for the safety of their own families. Let them know that they are loved by you, Lord, and held in the prayers of a grateful nation. Amen. Let us conclude our prayers as we say the Lord's Prayer together in the modern form. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. <laughs>